are going to plant dragon tongue bean, dragon's tongue bean, in the fawn. And I've got five planters here just for that purpose. Now, I, the mixture is about one third parboiled rice hulls, one third spent old rice hulls, and about a third compost. So it's all mixed together. You saw it in the daikon radish how I mixed the soil. It's not really soil, it's basically inert, but with the compost in it, there is a soil type component to it now. So we're going to plant the dragon's tongue bean in here. Now most dragon tongue bean looks like this. It's a pretty bean. It's a real pretty bean. Let me get out of the light there. And uh, I would, you remember the, uh, well if you haven't seen it, I saved the seed from the dragon's tongue and I had well over a thousand seed. And almost all of them, I'd say 90%, 95% look like this. But throughout, you get a bean that looks like this. And the seed is unusual. It's, it's really, really dark. Now, I don't know, and I didn't notice, if that was from specific plants. You know, the occasional plant that would throw this type bean. Here's another one. And, um, and I don't know if there's really any difference. Probably not. It's uh, an off genetic uh, part. But what we're going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to plant of the five containers. I'm going to plant four of them in the darker bean and I'm going to use the lighter color bean there as a control and I'm just going to compare them. And why am I doing that? Because I can. Because <laughs> I can and I'm curious. <laughs> Okay, so we get a baseline. We've got darker bean, darker bean. You can see here the beans are actually on top. That's the very middle one. So two darker beans, the regular or the control, and two darker beans. And I'll go ahead and do these for you. Just push them down, just like that with my finger. Not a big deal. And we'll take and we will cover that up. Throw a little water over them. That's all there is to it. Then to four in each pot. Beans are starting to flower. It's twenty seven February. These are the beans on 3 March. And we have little beans coming on. Let's see there. Okay, today is the 16th of March and we are going to harvest some beans. So let's go in first and look at what they look like, okay? Let's see, we've got one here. Go ahead and take that one. I'm doing it in one hand, so I hope I don't tear up the plant. There you go. You can see it's, it's about a seven inch bean. And there's another one there. I'm going to show you these and then I'll pick them and I'll show you the overall. There's another one back here. 
And these are the dark color beans and you can see it didn't translate into a light colored or a dark color pod but it stayed light colored so okay here we go and in, in the second pot we've got a couple more here that are light colored you can see some in the back back there and some back here uh, let's see if you can take it see them back there all right I really have to lift these up gently to show you these. Here's another one because they will break. Here's a dark color pod on this one and oddly enough it's in the pot with the light color beans. So we can make a connection that a light color bean does not necessarily make a light color pod and a dark color bean does not necessarily make a dark color pod. But these are some nice beans aren't they? I'm sure there's a lot of camera shaking so I'll slow it down just a little bit but I don't want to drag the video out too much beans down in there and another one back there so let me let me take these beans and I'll show you how much we got out of this first harvest of beans it's kind of a dreary winter day out today so I thought I would bring you on the deck and put them out here for display so you can get a little bit better look at them pretty bean isn't it this is enough for a meal for me and Gina. First harvest and these are going to be really good. Winter beans you guys. We'll see you later.